Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today is a video I've been kind of hyping for a while. I mean, not hyping, but um, putting off maybe, <laughs> building too much suspense. Um, this is my new setup. Uh, I haven't had like a brand new planner setup in a while. I basically have been staying in the same size and for the most part, even the same covers for a long time. Um, but I was sent this personal size ring planner from Fuzzjozma. Um, I believe I pronounced or even spelled it wrong in a previous video. Um, they sent it to me for a review. I did an unboxing, which is linked in the corner here. Um, uh, so thank you to them. It's a um, like raw leather. So it's got, you can hopefully see some of the wear already because I've been carrying this around with me all the time. Got a little bit of like something sticky on it. Um, it's gotten scratched from my nails, from my keys. Um, and so it is already starting to show a little bit of a story, which is great. I mean, that's sort of the point of the raw leather. If you don't like that, then you should pick something different. Um, but it's got like a little, I don't know if it's lighter on the spine yet, a little bit, you can kind of see where it bends. And I really do love how it lies flat. Um, so I'm going to be today just showing you the setup, focusing mostly on like, the the structure how i'm using it sort of as far as like a wallet and then um the uh the like products that are inside and then in another video in two more weeks i'm going to be doing like a full flip through like i normally do and that video will focus more on like the pages and my planning process uh within all of it so let's jump in um first off it's got this sort of snap closure um I've never seen a snap like this before, but it works great. Um, I did see some reviews on this as it being a little bit tight to close once it's full. And that is true. I do have to pull it a little bit, but this uh, strap does have a little bit of give to it. And I think as time goes on, it'll get easier and easier. Um, I just have to remember to sometimes, well, not even, but occasionally have to remember to pull this out, the pen loop out so that it doesn't get stuck underneath, causing it to be even thicker. Um, but there you go. The pen loop, fits my um, G2 nicely. It's a little bit snug to pull it in and out. Well, not really, more to get out than in. It fits is my point, um, which is great because I'm coming from a file of acts, which notoriously have very narrow pen loops, which I just ignore. Um, so having a pen loop is nice. Before I used to keep my pen in here, which worked fine, but it, you couldn't just open it quickly. You had to pull out the pen first. So keep the pen, that's handy. And um, it does, as I'm closing it, because I do have to close it kind of snugly, it has caused these tabs, which I will get to. Um, no, you probably can't even see. You may, may not be able to see. Um, that they have gotten a little bit bent. I'm trying to see if you can tell, because um, they're kind of clear. <laughs> but they're a little bit bent just from having to move out of the way of the pen um, in a couple of places. I. I can't vouch for how that would work with other materials of tabs. If you had laminated tabs or some other kind of paper product, it might get beaten up pretty bad. With this plastic, I'm not worried about it. I think I could just maybe leave it in the hot sun for a few minutes and lay it under a book and then it would be like brand new. But um, yeah, it, it also doesn't really bother me because they are very durable. Um, but anyway, that, that does happen. Uh, let's see, I'll do the pockets because um, that's the stuff that's going to be all wallety because I do use this as my everyday carry planner as well as my wallet. Um, in the front here, these are some little page flag tabs that I got from Daiso. Um, they're just handy to have some handy, <laughs> obviously. Um, this little bookmark came with the planner. Um, it was just boxed up in there to look nice. So I decided to use this as my sort of washi card and I just have a couple um, these are the two washies that are here on this front, um, like my, this is my index or not my index, my, my inbox. It's currently empty. So you can see, this is actually what I do. And this is a sneak peek for the actual flip through, but I keep it, um, folded over and hidden so that I can jot down whatever I want, you know, credit card numbers and phone numbers and things that I don't want you to see. And then just keep this shut and never show it to you. But there's nothing on it now. Anyway, these two washi tapes are the ones I have that kind of match as you'll see the colors of the the theme of the setup, which um, is supposed to just be a jumping off point that I can like add extra decorative things, but realistically knowing myself, I'm not gonna add a lot of decorative stuff because I never really do. I'm pretty functional. And so once I've set, up, set it up, I like to just leave it that way. Um, there's this secretarial pocket in the front, which I use for um, receipts and stuff uh, whenever I 
go somewhere that gets a receipt, I'll tuck it in here. I use the Fetch app, so I like to try to remember to have my receipts um, in one place where I know where to get them, and then I take them out and snap a picture of them and throw them away. Um, I can also use that to jot down, you'll see the totals on some of my script in the back. Um, but there's also uh, this front pocket is a full length pocket. This has health care uh, information, uh, mostly just like our, it may have a card in there. Yeah, I think it might have one card. It's like for payment, but the rest are like our health insurance ID, ID cards uh, for the whole family. So they're in there. And then the zipper pocket has in here um, change. It has a couple of postage stamps. And it also has this, which was, um, this is a spare key to my car. It may not be a bad idea to have it just in case. Um, not that I usually, I guess when I, I, drop my keys in my car while I'm buckling the kids in and I'll usually drop my planner in there too, but whatever, may as well carry it cause it's so small. Um, the key, like the fob with the clicker, uh, broke. So this came out of it. So we got like a analog key that's like this. And then I just use the clicker separately, um, as the remote to unlock the door, but this exists. And so I have it in here. Um, and then let's flip to the back quickly. Uh, these are a couple of spare paper clips. Um, can you even see them? I can't tell uh, how the contrast is going to turn out on the final video. In the viewfinder, it's pretty dark. Uh, these are just big paper clips for clipping pages together that I'm not using. Um, and then back here, I keep a couple of spare checks and some cash. Um, I always try to keep at least two spare checks in here because I don't you know, like people don't carry checkbooks around because you don't use it very often but when you do want one you know I don't carry that much cash and so it's good to have a, a check with me so I can pay for stuff and then also this is hopefully a temporary solution but I've got some script in here from our school um, you know the gift cards that you get that's like a discount for the school right the school gets a kickback um, and so we I, I got some more of those for the summer so we can get like milkshakes and treats and stuff because um, we're not going to be there to get physical cards a lot of them are e-gift e cards, but these are the physical ones. It's not ideal to be having a whole bunch of cards in this situation where like they line up sideways. I would like to either get or make some sort of a pocket that I could slide in and out that's just divided in three. There's just like a card holder that's, you know, this wide. And I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe if I take cardstock and sew it together, but I don't have cardstock and I don't have my sewing machine out. And anyway that's whatever but those are in there and so i do um try to remember to can i show this to you without yeah so i like mark down the the balance on some of them um that was the other thing i do after i have my receipts in the um before i flip back to the front i just wanted to show you where um like from the back a little bit, this zipper pocket isn't really in use much. It's mostly just protecting this index page, which shows you, um, this is going to be again in the flip through video, but the front section has like my index and I have a section with all of my lists of projects. Then I have all my project pages are back here on the fourth tab, months, weeks, and dailies in the middle. And then my content schedule and, um, whatever I'm currently working on, You'll see all of that in the flip through video, but I like having this index page, especially when I'm in a new setup or when I reorganize everything in my tabs, because that way I don't forget what's there. But um, what lives in here normally, but doesn't during videos, I take it out, is the uh, card holder. It just holds like three cards. Well, it holds three, has three slots and it has more than one card per slot. But that's where the bulk of my wallet stuff is, like actual credit cards, my ID, my library card, and uh, oh, the gas card. I'm looking at it over here off camera. Um, so that's what the wallet setup is as I pull out these cards and then I put my receipts here and it works out. And then I'm able to like flip to put something in my future log if I need to, you know, set up a new dental appointment or whatever. Back to the front. Um, if you've been following me for a while, uh, from my last planner over to this one, then you know, probably can guess where these tabs are from. Marlene's plan to create on Etsy. She made the tabs I used in my pocket size and I loved them. They're super durable. They hold up really well. Um, they're frosted plastic. And so I've got like this cover page that's a separate order and you get to pick what word you want on it. This time I chose the word enough. Uh, it was supposed to mean like you're doing enough, you are enough. You know, every time I open this, I'm trying to like, 
I, I, I find myself reaching for and opening my planner on days when I don't really have that much to do, but I feel like I should be doing something. And so the idea is for this word, if I actually read it and stop and think, is to remind me that it's okay. <laughs> By the end of the day, I'm enough whether I get enough done or not. Um, so there's six side tabs and then three top tabs. Those are still um, from my previous setup. I liked the way it worked, month, week, day. So month and future log, week and day. Um, and like I said, I've got um, my inbox in the front. And then I have my project lists here. This, uh, this whole section is lists of things that I can be working on, projects. Um, and then I'll take next action items from these and move them to like my weeklies and stuff. And then, um, Here's, yeah, the month section here. I still have May in here because I haven't pulled it out, but I have a um, one of those giant paper clips holding everything together. So when I grab this tab, it opens straight to uh, June. And then weeklies, this is where I am now. You'll see all of this as well. I'm working from a uh, the rolling weekly right now using one of these for some notes and things to get done for content stuff. And then I also have a bunch of dailies in here. Um, you'll see a lot of these sections have in the front just a nice little piece of acetate. Um, I got, this is like transparency paper, and I talked about all this in the sort of semi setup video that I did a couple weeks ago. Um, I just stuck it in the printer and used uh, some free uh, scrapbooking, digital scrapbooking paper that I found. So there's a few different designs uh, with the polka dots. This one has little triangles. Those are different polka dots. Those are the same polka dots. These ones are different. Um, and then I just threw some stickers on them to like make it look nice. I don't know if you can even see this well. These ones are clear. They came with, um, like I bought something used off a of buy, sell, trade, a used planner from somebody and they included these, um, I think they're like scrapbooking stickers. This one says, if you dream it, you can become it. Um, so that doesn't have, that doesn't, does this one? Yes, I have some in front of the dailies, I think. Yeah, nothing written on this one. This one says, love who you are. This one with the white background came as a little freebie from with my Marlene's Plan to Create order. Um, this one says, live for today. Again, one of the gift ones. And then this is the freebie one breathe. The best things in life are free. It's really difficult to read this actually on the background, but I thought, you know, I don't usually have a place to put that kind of thing. So I'll put it on the acetate and then it's not like wasted because it's used over and over again as it just sort of lives in there. And the acetate is nice and durable. You know, the holes aren't going to get messed up. The corners might get a little bit bent, but this can just live in there for as long as you like. And that's really what I have as my setup is just the tabs and then the acetate. Um, I might at some point try to, you know, get more creative with the acetate in the different sections or different, you know, covers. And I don't usually clip ephemera into my planner. I love the look of it on Instagram, but I don't find it to be super practical to try to keep everything in place. Um, but, you know, if I see anything that I like, maybe I'll use one of these that I'm not using um, to, you know, clip something somewhere and look at it and be happy. But mostly I'm happy when I'm getting stuff done or when I'm not worrying about my planner. Um, but that is the setup, just sort of an overview of how I use it as a wallet um, and then what the tabs are. But like I said, in I think two more weeks, I'll be going to go through and show you every single insert that is, is part of that. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss that video. Um, next week is going to be a weekly plan with me where you will see how I use the uh, rolling weekly if you haven't seen that before. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So don't miss it and have a good day. There will be links to everything. Um, there will be links to Marlene's plan to create in the comments or in the in the description um, and to Fajosma where Fajosma where I got the planner um, and to where I got these um, printable. This, this is a free download um, that I found on a website. So I'll link to that as well down in the description. And if you have any questions, put them in comments and I'll see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.